Hello everyone, this is Apoorva Pandita and I welcome you all to Live Law. In India, possession of prohibited drugs such as weed or marijuana is not only a serious offence but can also result in some heavy consequences. So if you're thinking of taking a stroll on the wild side and indulging in some herbal refreshment, it might be best to think twice or maybe not think about it at all. The Narcotic Drugs and Psychotropic Substances Act of 1985 or the NDPS Act as we have heard of it is the law that governs the possession and use of drugs in India. According to this act, cannabis is defined as charas, ganja or any mixture or drink made out of these substances. Well yes, hash brownies will also fall under this definition making them illegal too. Charas is a separated resin obtained from cannabis plant while ganja refers to the flowering or fruiting top if we remove the seeds and leaves. However, here's a fun fact. The act excludes bhang, that is the leaves, as a part of the plant even though it technically is. So while the sale and production of cannabis resin and flowers are strictly prohibited, the use of leaves and seeds of the cannabis plant is actually legal, making bhang legal. And this brings us to the main theme of our video that if you're caught with weed, basically you're in trouble. Depending on the quantity you have, the punishment could range from imprisonment to a hefty fine and sometimes even both. If you're caught with small amount of weed, you could face up to six months of rigorous imprisonment and a fine of rupees 10,000 or both. But if you're caught with more than small amount but less than the commercial quantity, then be prepared to face up to 10 years of rigorous imprisonment and a fine of rupees 1 lakh and sometimes both and if someone is thinking about getting into the business of selling wheat then you better think twice as well the punishment for production sale or purchase transportation interstate import or export or any other commercial activity of cannabis is severe if you're caught with commercial quantities of wheat you could face up to 10 to 20 years of rigorous imprisonment and a fine of rupees 1 to 2 lakh and sometimes both. The minimum imprisonment is 10 years. In these cases, even the court cannot award imprisonment of less than 10 years. So remember, possession of weed in India is no joke. It's best to stay away from prohibited drugs and instead focus on getting help through de-addiction treatment if you are struggling with addiction. The NDPS Act of 1985, the Juvenile Justice Care and Protection Act of 2000 and various other state drug laws all work together to ensure that the citizens of India are protected from the negative effects of drug use. We are not only talking about active involvement but even if one is caught allowing his or her property to be used for drug related offences and by property we mean to include house, cars and motor vehicles as well then that person could face charges under Section 20 and 25 of NDPS Act. And if they are caught consuming illegal drugs, they'll attract the offences under Section 27, which are non-bailable and cognizable offences. Did you know that even attempting to commit a drug-related offence under the NDPS Act can land you in hot water? Well, yes, that's right. Section 28 of the Act states that if you try to commit an offence or even take a step towards committing one, you can face punishment as severe as that for actual offence. So it's better to stay on the right side of the law, to stay clear of anything remotely related to drugs. Although one safeguard given to the innocent persons or to those who are falsely charged is Section 50 of the NDPS Act. This section says that the body of the accused person should be searched in presence of a gazetted officer or a magistrate. But usually in our country, it is always the version of the police that the accused has denied the search in presence of the gazetted officer or that he has consented to be searched by the police officer himself. And so the police officers themselves conduct the search. Also, remember, we have section 120B of IPC which talks about conspiracy. And even if you're not directly involved in the act of possessing narcotic substances or even if they're not recovered from you personally, but merely because of having a connection to the illegal activity, you can be booked under Section 120B of IPC. In our country, most of the youngsters are not aware of the seriousness of the offence and merely an activity of fun can land you in prison for years. And there you have it. 
while some people out there may think weed to be harmless recreational substance it's important to remember that it's illegal in india so if you or any of your friend is thinking of lighting up a joint don't breaking the law could lead to some serious consequences and it's just not worth it stay safe stay legal and do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel and for more legal updates keep watching live law